Good morning. What a beautiful day it is today to come to you to speak about the everyday magic of flowers in our lives. Flowers represent such great beauty and so much more. As all life manifests into physical form, flowers represent a sacred sense of beauty in terms of the exquisiteness, in terms of the delicacy, and the unique ways that every flower is formed and presents itself. As all of life contains a living essence or a spiritual essence of its own, the way that we connect with flowers opens up so many more doors to understanding ourselves more, to um, working with um, our own healing and many other applications in life. As we all inhabit or as we all carry um, a sense of spirit within us because we are living, it also goes to show that um, as we work with flowers, we're also unconsciously and consciously working on ourselves at a cellular and a structural level as well. An energetic level as well, if you will. And over the course of the next hour, I'm going to share with you some of my experiences of working with flowers as a um, clairvoyant healer and a teacher for adults and young children, as I'd like to open some doors or to give you some ideas into how you could use um, these Australian wildflower cards um, for gaining insights, for exploring yourself, for delving into um, your own healing as well. And um, it's a very exciting event that we've got today considering that there's so many different applications and so many different uses of flowers in everyday life. Um, for me one of the most beautiful things and the most fun things to do with flowers is to pick them up or to you know to hold them to smell them and to just meditate on what I feel, what I, um, what I perceive at the time, and um, I'm sure many of you have done it um, as children or even watching your own children now, um, just the way that um, we can so innocently play and be in the presence of flowers and how much joy it brings into our lives. And um, one of the most fun things I can remember about connecting with flowers is um, going into the garden to look for the fairies. And it's something I still really enjoy doing every day, just to say hello to them and to welcome them into my day. And um, it, also, it also empowers me in the sense that there are things which um, some of us see and some of us don't see and it reminds us of what great details we can pick up in the world around us and what great things that we can appreciate um, when we pay attention to certain things. Um, another thing that I'd like to mention about everyday magic with flowers is that flowers Flowers can uplift and bring so much peace and joy and so many other feelings to an environment wherever you put them. And I've noticed this in um, my own classrooms at school, for example, and um, it also makes you wonder or makes you realise that, um, say, for example, the classroom's been filled with heavy emotions or lots of stress or you know, lots of busyness from the days. It's always nice to put flowers in the classroom as a way of changing the energy in the room. It's like some, the way that I see it is um, some of these old emotions and energies 
uh, a bit like a smog or a blanket um, to the energy in the classroom. And so bringing in some flowers is like bringing in more life, you know, bringing in more colour, bringing in more light. And um, just give it a try and you'll, you probably already do this, um, but it really does change the dynamics and change the mood of what's going on in the environment. And another way that I like to work with flowers in everyday life is um, when I look at the colours and I touch the petals, I imagine that all the petals that I'm touching or all the scents that I breathe in are like me breathing in the colours of light which then, um, which then go into my chakras and work with me um, in that way as well. So for example with these azaleas with their pinks Whenever I'm walking through, or whenever I'm sitting here and just watching them, I'm consciously and unconsciously breathing in pink energy, which will go right into my heart chakra. So being around flowers reminds me of the gifts of nature and how they can be um, worked with to enhance our own energy systems as well and to help release any old um, energy or any blocks connected to um, those chakras simply by working with um, the colours that correspond to them. So say for example um, you've got some other flowers like uh, if you might have roses again another pink or another white flower or Anything like that that connects with um, pink itself will generally connect with the heart chakra, whereas um, you might have, say, sunflowers with their big yellow and oranges. And working with sunflower would work with, say, your solar plexus, naturally, being yellow and orange colours. So you can work with them in that way as well. And later on, it's going to be very exciting when um, we listen to what our friends Lucy and Trish have to say about the gods and goddesses, about um, flower gods and goddesses connected to flowers, and the art of crafting um, essences from flowers themselves. So I'll leave that with them because that's a, that's a very um, special way of connecting with flowers in an, in an everyday sense as well. Um, I guess everything, everything that we come into contact with has a special memory or a special presence about it. And when you talk about working with flowers, this can be also considered um, as how you connect with flowers and what personal meaning they have for you. Because uh, different flowers have different messages for us, and they also connect to different parts of our memory. And this might be through the scent, through the touch, where we see them, and um, they can bring a great deal of um, lasting impacts into our lives. For example, certain flowers might remind us of a certain place or a certain person and that can have a great impact or a great effect on our emotions and um, what this can bring to our days as well. So I might just say with azaleas, they always remind me of my grandmother, my mother, and I always feel the presence of Kuan Yin around um, azaleas, mainly for the connections that she has with um, both of those motherly figures in my life. So stay tuned with um, the other videos of the day and the other applications of um, working with flowers as um, I'll, leave, I'll leave our introduction at that for now. Thank you. Bye.